Today's video is on proportions and right triangles. Take a minute to read the learning goal and scale. Find where you are on the scale before we begin the lesson. When two or more parallel lines intersect other lines, proportional segments are formed. Take a look at theorem 7-4, the side splitter theorem. If a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides, then it divides those sides proportionally. Since segment RS is parallel to the base of triangle QXY, this segment here, it creates proportional sides. So the length of segment XR to the length of segment RQ is equal to the length of segment YS to the length of segment SQ. In example one, we will use the side splitter theorem to find the value of X. Since segment KL is parallel to segment PN, we know that segment KL divides the sides of the triangle into proportional segments. Let's start by writing our proportion that the length of segment PK to the length of segment KM is equal to the length of segment NL to the length of segment LM. Let's substitute the lengths in our proportion and use the cross product property. We'll multiply the extremes and the means. Using distributive property, 9 times x is 9x, and 9 times 1 is 9. Subtract 9x from both sides, and 9 equals 3x. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals 3. Let's check our answer by substituting 3 in for x into our original proportion. Since 36 does equal 36, we know that we are correct. Pause the video and do you try number one. To find the value of A in the diagram, we know that this segment is parallel to this segment, making proportional segments of the triangle. So A to A plus 4 will equal 12 to 18. Let's use cross product property to multiply the extremes and the means. Using the distributive property, 12 times A is 12A, and 12 times 4 is 48. Subtract 12a from both sides, and 6a equals 48. Divide both sides by 6, and a equals 8. Don't forget to check your answer by substituting 8 in for a into your original proportion. Since 144 does equal 144, we know we are correct. Remember in theorem 6-7, it said if three or more parallel lines cut off congruent segments on one transversal, then they cut off congruent segments on every transversal. The corollary to the side splitter theorem is very similar. It says if three parallel lines intersect two transversals, then the segments intercepted on the transversals are proportional. One of the cool things the corollary to the side splitter theorem helps us with is perspective drawings. Take a look at the examples below. That's the side splitter theorem, hard at work in art. In example two, we will find a length. Three campsites are shown below. What is the length of site A along the river? Let's use the side splitter theorem to write a proportion. We know the length of site B along the river and along the road, so let's use the ratio 8 to 7.2. Our second ratio will be the length of site A along the river, which we do not know, so x, to the length of site A along the road, 9. Let's solve for x by using cross product property. We'll multiply the extremes first, and now the means. So 72 equals 7.2x. Divide both sides by 7.2, and x equals 10. Don't forget to check your answer by substituting the value for x, 10, into your original proportion. Since 72 does equal 72, we know we are correct. Pause the video and do you try number 2. To find the length of site C along the road, let's use our same ratio, 8 to 7.2, as the first half of our proportion. Our second ratio will be the length of site C along the river, to the length of site C along the road. Let's call that Y. To solve our proportion, we'll use cross product property by multiplying the extremes first and then the means. 8Y is equal to 46.08. Let's 
divide both sides by 8, and y equals 5.76. Since the length of site C along the river is the shortest, it makes sense that the length of site C along the road is also the shortest. But let's check our answer by substituting 5.76 back into our original proportion. Six forty, since 46 and 8 hundredths equals 46 and 8 hundredths, we know we are correct. The bisector of an angle of a triangle divides the opposite side into two segments with lengths proportional to the sides of the triangle that form the angle. Let's take a look at theorem 7-5, the triangle angle bisector theorem. If a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into two segments that are proportional to the other two sides. In example three, we will use the triangle angle bisector theorem to find the value of x in the diagram. Since segment PQ is the bisector of angle RPS, we know that 12 to 10 will be equal to x to 18. To solve for x, let's begin by using cross product properties and multiply the extremes and then the means. So 216 equals 10x. Divide both sides by 10, and x equals 21.6. Let's check our solution by substituting 21.6 in for x into our original proportion. Since 216 does equal 216, we know we have the right answer. Pause the video and do you try number three. To find the value of y, let's use the triangle angle bisector theorem to write the proportion y to 9.6 equals 24 to 16. Using the cross product property, let's multiply the extremes and the means. 16y equals 230.4. Divide both sides by 16 and y equals 14.4. Let's check our answer by substituting 14.4 in for y in our original proportion. Since 230.4 does equal 230.4, we know we are correct. Now is your chance to see how well you understand the lesson. Pause the video and do the lesson check. Don't forget to check your answers on the next slide. If you have any questions, please be sure to ask me in class. Now take another minute to reread the learning goal on the scale. Have you climbed any higher on the scale since we've completed the lesson?